In today's Find a Friend segment, sponsored by Rascal Animal Hospital, we learn that friends of animals come in all shapes, sizes, and professions. In fact, a whole lot of dogs are flying high and getting a second chance at a good life thanks to our first guest. That is such a great picture. Love it all. Okay, so I'm happy to welcome Richard Fischel from Pilots and Paws, along with Rascal Head Vet Dr. Michelle Gonzalez. So thanks for being here, guys. Thanks, Robin. Okay, Dr. G, we always start by trying to find a little furry friend at home. So who'd you bring with you? So this is Sissy. Sissy is a year and a half chihuahua. She's being a little <laughs> chiran. There you go. Um, so she is available for adoption through Colony Cats and Dogs. She was actually, it's kind of a little bit of a sad story, but something that we see a lot, she lived with a little kid. The kid tripped on her. She nipped and then she was taken to the Humane Society. And because she has a nipping history, then she was scheduled for euthanasia. Oh. And it's so important to teach kids how to properly be around dogs. This is a really nice, sweet puppy. Right. And you know, any dog, if you if they get hurt, they can react in a different way. So. And maybe she would be better with, like you had said, mm -hmm. older kids, right. people who already kind of know how to react and don't grab the tail and do right. that kind of stuff. Exactly, like sometimes toddlers, they're not doing it on purpose, but they're kind of rough or they can trip, fall on right. them or pull on them. So. She's probably better with either no kids or just older kids. Okay, all right, Dr. G. She again is from Colony Cats and Dogs. Correct. All right, so you have worked as well, Dr. G, with Pilots and Paws for a while. Why do you like this organization? So I much? think I think it's an amazing organization because sometimes the perfect dog for one person may not be in their state. And you know, you you see a lot of people that post this dog needs a home and it's available in California. And then you may be in New York and oh, I really like that dog, but it's not really feasible to get it. So this is an amazing amazing group of people that make that happen. Okay, and that is where you come in, Richard. So I want you to kind of give us an idea of what it is you do. So uh, about four million uh, animals are euthanized a year in the United States, and uh, a lot of these animals are in locations where either uh, uh, the culture or the, the, you know, just the area is hard to, you're, it's hard to find adoptable homes for these animals. And okay. so, uh, Debbie Boys and uh, and John Werenberg, a uh, pilot friend of hers, realized that there might be a useful collaboration here. And uh, pilots have to fly. They need to fly for both proficiency and training. And uh, and so the idea was to essentially combine these two, uh, two groups of people and see if we couldn't find homes for animals in, in uh, locations that were other than where they were uh, actually found. So exactly how does it work then? If somebody is watching this here in Ohio, they see a dog out in California that they like, do they then get in contact with your group? So there's, the website is Pilots and Paws, N, the letter N, uh, and y if you are an organization or a person who has an animal uh, that uh, you would like to transport, you get on the website, that website then uh, you uh, tries to, to uh, combine you with a pilot. Uh, we've done, there's over 5,000 pilots now. The organization is only eight years old. There's 5,000 pilots that volunteer, volunteer their time, uh, an airplane and the fuel to fly these animals around. A lot of them are done in segments. Uh, and essentially the, uh, the idea is to, you get on the website uh, and you Find, find a spot and an animal that you can uh, <laughs> find a new home Sissy for. Sissy made her way over here and apparently <laughs> likes me. Okay, now you're making me want to take you home. Is that your point? <laughs> All right, and, and Richard, you do this and you have dogs. I imagine flying with dogs could probably be a challenge, but do you have some memorable kind of stories about doing this? So I got my own dog on one of these, uh, uh, on one of these trips, found uh, a Border Collie Rescue Organization, uh, was looking for a home for a Border Collie in South Bend, Indiana, and I flew to South Bend, picked him up, and he uh, was 11 weeks old and very small, and now he's a four-year-old 60-pounder who uh, essentially helps us keep the geese off the pond and <laughs> anything else that moves. <laughs> We're going to let Sissy go some more. <laughs> All right, so how can somebody get involved and help the organization? So the Pilots and Paws is, uh, has sponsors. Subaru and Petmate helps us, but it's a complete volunteer organization. We're a nonprofit organization. You can get on the website. You can donate. You can actually uh, find uh, organizations which uh, have adoptable pets, and you can also help by, uh, you know, making sure that the pets get from point A to point B or part of the organization. There's, if you get on the website, you'll see there's volunteers, pilots, anybody who would like to get involved with us. All right, well, thank you for what you do. It's awesome. We had the website up. People can go visit that. Again, Sissy, who took an early exit, <laughs> Colony Cats and Dogs, if you want to adopt her. So thanks for being here. Thanks, Rowan.